I don't have the words to describe the next game, so let's just take a look at what happened in New Orleans in the season's eighth week. In New Orleans, there was no way the second place Lions could have been ready for what was awaiting them between jousts with the first place Vikings. This was to be no ordinary contest for either Detroit or New Orleans, as attested by number 42, Alty Taylor, number 23, Doug Wyatt, and others. One white-shirted peacemaker was named J.D. Roberts, who was seeing his first NFL game as New Orleans coach. Detroit took the lead on a trap play run by Mel Farr, number 24. Bill Munson added to the lead with a short touchdown pass to tight end Charlie Sanders. Only three field goals by number 19, Tom Dempsey, kept the Saints within striking range until midway in the fourth quarter. When a short burst by number 32, Tom Barrington put the Saints ahead, 16-14. But the Lions chewed their way to the New Orleans 18 from where Errol Mann kicked the points which put Detroit ahead 17-16 with only 11 seconds left in the game. Eleven seconds to play, Burrow double O and Dodd 25 back for the kickoff. It'll carry short. Dodd at the 14. Running to get out of bounds, he does so with eight seconds to play. So the Saints, with eight seconds left and all their timeouts, will have to try to get in field goal range. Three receivers go long for New Orleans. Here's a pass. It's complete. He's tying a 63-yard field goal. Not only will uh, if Tom Dempsey hits this one, he's got a very slight win at his back. He'll set a National Football League record in addition to winning the game. I don't believe this. Oh, it's good! I don't believe it! The field goal attempt was good from 63 yards away! It's incredible! Tulane Stadium has gone wild! A 63-yard field goal! 11 seconds can easily be consumed on a kickoff. But number 25, Al Dodd, managed to stop the clock at the New Orleans 28. Quarterback Bill Kilmer then dropped back and fired to Dodd, who made a diving grab and again stopped the clock. This time at the Saints 45 with only two seconds to play. Then came one of the most staggering moments in the history of sport. From the New Orleans 37-yard line on the game's final play, a perfect snap, a perfect hold by Joe Scarpetti, and Tom Dempsey's kick to top all kicks. Dempsey kicks, it's on the way! It is! Good! It's good! It's good! It's good! The Saints have won! The Saints have won! The stadium is wild! The Saints have won! 19 to 17! Dempsey with a 63-yard field goal! magic. Some have possessed it for a moment, others for a lifetime. Like the wind, it comes and goes, but the memories remain. Memories of miracle men whose magic has earned them a special place in pro football history. It was an emotional experience, some that you would like to relive again. I know sometimes I'm laying there in bed thinking about about that particular moment, you know, that had to be one of the highlights of my life and how, how you would really like to live it over again. There are times in my life now when my day doesn't go well. Uh, when you're in the real world, which I am now, and I have to sell every day, it's not just producing on Sundays, it's producing every day now to keep your job. And I haven't had a good day. Uh, I walk in the house and I look up there, I've still got the football and I can sit down and I can say, well, one day I wasn't too bad. For one day, Tom Dempsey was the best.